Hello friends, this video on powers part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. From exam. Now let's look at some questions. Question number 1. Express the following numbers in standard form. So here you have a big number. So where is your decimal point right now? It's here. So we need to shift this decimal point all through these places to reach that point where you get a decimal number less than 10. So we have to shift it somewhere here so that it becomes 6.02 into 10 to the power. How many jumps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is 10 to the power 15. So 6.02 into 10 to the power 15. Let's look at the next one. Here your decimal point is here and you will move towards the right. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this becomes 8.37 into 10 to the power minus 9. So another way of remembering when to put positive exponent and when to put negative exponent is for negative exponent you would see that you always make jumps towards the right. For positive exponent you always make jumps towards the left. Question number two, express the following numbers in usual form. So the numbers are given in their standard form and you have to write it in their usual form. So 3 into 10 to the power minus 8. So since you have, first you write 3. Now since you have minus 8, what does that mean? That means, so, so whenever we get minus 8, we tend to, uh, you know, when, whenever we write negative exponents, we tend to move towards right. Right, while writing the standard form. So this time, when, since minus 8 is already given, that means the decimal point was somewhere this side. Because only when the decimal point was this side, you would be making jumps towards the right. Correct? But it is 10 to the power minus 8. So that means you must have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven zeros after the decimal point so that how many jumps will you take one two three four five six seven and eight because you have written it as three into ten to the power minus eight so that means this this would be the usual form point zero 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 three let's look at the next one so here you have a positive exponent First you write the number which is 361492. Then how many, what is the power on 10? It is 10 to the power 6. So what you do, you put those many zeros. That is you put 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. So this time you have put zeros after the number because it is positive exponent. So whenever it is a positive exponent, add zeros after the number. When it is a negative exponent, add zeros before the number. So negative exponent, what you do, add zero, zeros in fact, before the number. In this case, add zeros after the number. So you have added so many zeros. Now where would be the decimal point located? So look at this. Here the decimal point is, after the decimal point, how many digits do you have? One, two, three, four, five. So count five digits from this, from the end. One, two, three, four, five. So the decimal point would be located here. So therefore your answer would be 3614920. So whenever you have positive exponent, add zeros after the number. You have negative exponent, add zeros before the number. Question number three. Express the number appearing in the following statements in standard form. Charge of an electron is, is this many coulomb. So how will you express this in standard form? So for standard form, you want the decimal point to be present here. So you need to shift the decimal point from here to here. So it would be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus, how many jumps will that need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So this would be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Second one is size of a bacteria is 0 0.0000005. So for this, what for in standard form, what is the number that you would need here such that the number lies between 1 and 10? So that number would be 5. So you want the decimal point to be here so that it becomes 5 into 10 to the power minus how much? 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो दिस वुड बी फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस सेवन मीटर्स Now please remember that if you write it like this, zero point five into ten to the power minus six, even though this value is equal to this, but this is not the standard form. Why? That's because zero point five doesn't lie between one and ten. Question number four. In a stack, there are five books, each of thickness twenty mm, and five paper sheets, each of thickness zero point zero one six mm. What is the total thickness of the stack? So the total thickness of the stack would be equal to total thickness of the books plus total thickness of the sheets. So let us first calculate total thickness of the books. So how many books do we have? We have five books, and thickness of each book is twenty mm. So five into twenty is one hundred. So one hundred mm is the total thickness of the books. Now let us calculate total thickness of the sheets, the paper sheets. Now each paper sheet thickness is zero point zero one six. So this multiplied by five, which gives you point zero eight zero mm. So this is the total thickness of the sheet. Therefore, let us find out the total thickness of the stack. So, total thickness of stack would be hundred plus point zero eight zero mm. So, this is equal to hundred point zero eight mm. Now, if I ask you to write it in standard form, how will you write it in standard form? For standard form, decimal point must be located after such a number so that you get a decimal number between one and ten. So, you need to shift the decimal point. To this place, so that you get one point zero zero eight, which is a number between one and ten, and ten to the power how much? Because this time you are moving towards the left. So whenever you are jumping towards the left, then the exponent is always positive. And here you have made two jumps, so it would be ten to the power two. So this is one point zero zero eight into ten to the power two. So please remember this simple thing. Whenever you are jumping towards the left, that is, you are making the decimal point jump towards the left. Your exponent is going to be positive. Whenever you are making your decimal point jump towards the right, your exponent is going to be negative. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson, and I hope that this lesson on powers would have helped you. So try to solve more problems and see if if you have any further questions, you can definitely post them on the ask question section of examfear.com. Uh, see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class six to twelve on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.